Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today is February the 18th. It's just before 5 p.m. where I'm at. And um, there seems to be a topic of interest which is following your heart's desire but being ashamed at the same time because it's not um, respected or um, ex accepted by peers, groups, societies, organizations, or cultural programming. Um, I just like to say that everything is a mindset. Everything, everything is a mindset. There is a characteristic and then there is also a mindset. So if you look back or if you research or if you search any person who's been successful, any type of success, any success at all, forget about even the fact that they were fearful and they did it anyways, but there is... The expectation of the successful person that um, they must fulfill something that hasn't been done before or they must fulfill something that has been tried to be done before but not quite exactly the way this person has done it. So, um, for example, if person A tries something and they're just too frightened Person B will take what person A has tried to do and succeed at it because their expectation was to not care what the others think of them. Because no matter what you do, no matter what you don't do, you're going to be judged. This is, this is the reality. And then what happens is you die. You die because you didn't do what you wanted to do. So, um, there's many things I could talk about in regards to all this, but I'm going to leave this up to you because 2022 is the year of just not, I'm not telling you to be a dick and just kind of like a Range Rover, just bulldoze over people and like so on and so forth. But I'm going to tell you something in life. If you want respect, if you want respect by anybody or anything, you kind of ha just have to do whatever the fuck you, you want to do. Eventually, you'll gain respect. And if you don't, who cares? What's considered respectful to, I don't know, or the actions or deeds or the presentations or perspectives of one group or society may be trash to another. There's no such thing as perfection. And, you know, it, 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 it changes all the time. There's so many taboo things out there that people do all the time. And yet they still do it. Despite. I decided to wear my sunglasses today because apparently I'm too intense for people. And when I talk, my eyes are too intense, you know? So, um, you know, it's interesting because usually I have so much to say, and I always do. I always have so much to say, but I want to take it easy because I know that I'm always growing as a person you know and I for those of you who are around me physically in a sense of when I say physically I don't mean literally seeing me but I mean physically seeing me but I mean perhaps those who live in the country that I do 
you're going to continue to not see me, meaning I'm going to remain absent in your life because um, this is how I roll, guys. I don't just show up in people's lives and just stay in people's lives. And I'm going to take these sunglasses off. Let's put it over here. I don't fit with people, you know, and that's my thing. So, um... The way I look at things is if I want to be successful in something, whether it's studying a language, whether it's learning a new task or an ability, or maybe, you know, anything at all, I need to do it in my own spare time, far away from people. And then once I've accomplished something and I decide to take it further and move forward with it, that's when I get together with the group. So what I want to basically say is I am going to remain absent from many people's lives and many organizations because I choose to. And um, eventually you guys will see what I'm presenting to the world. But anyways, 2022. Speaking of 2022, Black Moon Lilith in Cancer, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, will be coming forth from May 2022 until the end of the year or up into 2023, if I'm not mistaken. So for those of you who have been watching me, I personally have Black Moon Lilith in Cancer. And that's obviously corresponding, connected to um, your actual country. Um, motherland, your family, and taking care or being taking care of yourself because maybe you know your body is your family, maybe your home is your family, maybe your animals are your family, maybe the organization you work at is your family, maybe your needs are your whatever it is. Um, it's going to be presented because cancer is a motherly sign, very motherly, very nurturing, and perhaps it's a time for you to reverse instead of giving to other people to give to yourself that could be through food that could be through the occult through music through creativity nature anything um we just had the full moon in cancer on the 17th and for me it was pretty good because of my placements and all the work that I've inner work that I've done coming to terms of acceptance of certain things in my life you know excuse me um, obviously not all of us are on the same pace or on the same page of life if it was, if we were, then, you know, there would be, the world wouldn't be exactly where it is or how it is or how it functions, would it? No. So clearly we're in the age of technology today and we're going to remain in the age of technology for another 2000 years, if not more. Um, so this is how you're going to be connecting to me for the next long time. <laughs> so, um... If that offends you, I'm so sorry, but I've chosen to remain off of social media and um, I'm just not, I don't want to be part of that life right now except through YouTube and um, sharing my personal life here and there with you guys and then I get to move on in whatever aspect or reality that is by creating things that have never been done before. Janelle Mains. So here's the thing. Um... It's so funny because um, there's a lot of people who think certain things about themselves or what they want to do or where they fit in society or their country or the nation or their group and they work their butt off to make something happen and then perhaps it works a little bit but then they realize it's not working because of A, timing, B, wrong people, C, circumstances, lack of funds, so on and so forth. So they go on to the next thing to fulfill 
these expectations of themselves. And in that case scenario, if you keep repeatedly experiencing these things, guys, you need to take it easy and step back and just take care of yourself and your immediate environment. You know what I mean? Because it's just not, you're not clear on something. Let things unfold. Let things be presented to you. Let people's faces, including yours, show itself, present itself for what it is rather than what you want it to be. Want, need. All of us, listen, I have lots of desires. When I say desires, meaning many things I want to do. If it was up to me, since I was a little girl, I've wanted to speak over 12 languages. If I could do anything, I used to say, I would love to learn as many languages as I can. But you see, that doesn't work quite well with me because I just, whatever, I, whatever language I learn, just my mind keeps, you know, I, I seem to not, I forget easily when it comes to a language. Certain other aspects of learning, maybe I learn it very well and I don't forget. But what I'm trying to say is there's only so much we can do on our own and there's only so much we can do in terms of our desires alone and in terms of what is suitable for us for however long we want to do something. If I'm making sense about anything, <laughs> you know, um, It's, it's, it's very fascinating because as Armenians or this part of the region of the world, there's only so many of us, right? So when one person comes out and does something, and this is not even just with Armenians, it could be with any race or any nationality. When one or two people come out and do something, they're like, wow, I want to do that, which is a good thing. I think that's personally a good thing. I know in some of my videos I've expressed like, okay, there's all these people that they try to be me or, you know, because years back, since listen when i was in like elementary school it, when i if i colored my hair or if i wore fake eyelashes which no one did at that time even in high school i used to wear winged eye eyeliner do you know how much i was mocked for that and now these this era this age it's very normal so that's why you hardly see me wearing makeup unless i wear like lipstick that's all i wear basically because i just don't wear makeup anymore so basically what I'm saying is every era, every generation has its own language of people coming up with things and people being inspired and taking it on in a new language or a different thing, you know? So what worked 30 years ago is clearly not going to be exactly the same as what it is today. And I'm hoping I'm making sense or if this is being delivered to you in a certain manner or making sense to you because it's like... Um, you can see an image of me or some other girl or a guy and you could be totally inspired by their appearance, the way they carry themselves through the photo only. And then maybe you hear them talk and you're like, ugh, this person is completely not what they look like. Or it could be the opposite where it's like the person doesn't look very appealing to you and then you hear them talk and you're like, wow. Or it could be a little bit of both where someone looks a certain way and then you hear them talk and you're like wow this person is so fascinating there's so much about them right um so they're kind of an inspiration about you to develop some attribute or characteristic within yourself if that makes any sense right um but the most important aspect and the most important part of all that is being able to determine or know that we're all unique and even no people no two people are alike exactly so even if someone comes in front of me or some I come in front of someone else and they find me an inspiration to me and they kind of try to mimic my behaviors or appearance or whatever, they're not going to be exactly the same as me, even if they try, because whatever it is, right? And I, again, they're, not everybody is the same, so... I don't know, this world is such a fascinating place. Like, I can sit and think for hours, you know? And a lot of times, thinking has healed me. Just thought alone. Because all my life, I've, anytime I've felt down or 
anytime I felt like something wasn't working or why this or why that, I would just look at the sky or look at all the beauty around, like the birds and the buildings and the plants and the just, just earth itself and think what a miracle, you know, if this has all been existence by existed by God knows what created it, then why? And it's sustaining itself no matter how much damage is done to it. Um, why can't I, why can't we, you know what I'm saying? Why can't we sustain ourselves? Why can't we move on? Why can't we go on? Why can't we develop? Or, you know, it's like the snake that sheds its own skin. It's like consistent. We have to be able to kind of recreate ourselves, whatever that means. Um, to survive. You know, I just want to kind of show you different aspects of my character. Because I feel like people know me as being very soft-spoken and respectful. Or very loud, opinionated, strong minded open-minded but kind of seclusive at the same time and mysterious because people can't really figure me out but i mean it should be very i'm pretty much in your face regardless if you understand me or not right it's like i don't mean to brag but i mean if i saw me i would definitely stop and look twice also like everybody else I, I wouldn't say everybody, but a good 90% of people, no matter what country I'm in, they will stop and look at me. Um, but I think it's because when you have a different, it's not just, it's not just a physical thing, guys. I don't think I'm the most beautiful person in the world physically. Absolutely not. Um, and I don't really care about that concept of being beautiful. I just, I don't believe in it because if I, I, I just don't want to get to that level of thinking because it's not me. Um, to me, anything that's unique, different can be considered beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's being able to with, with, withstand any kind of storm is beautiful. People, like when I... When I come across a fearful person and they put up this front that they're very strong, I can see through it. And I don't find that attractive. So I don't mean to bash anybody, but it's like, if you're feeling sad or you're feeling, you don't have to come out and say it, right? But there's also no need to kind of run people over with this concept that you feel strong or you know put people down just because you don't feel strong at that moment if that makes any sense i find that to be very unattractive when people have the need to put themselves above others for them to feel better about themselves for no fucking reason that is so unattractive um and it, even if you believe that you're physically attractive, whether you're a guy or a girl, to me, that's very unattractive. Um, and it, even if you're fearful and you're fearful of relationships or whatever, just come out and fucking say it. That's the most attractive thing when you can come out and say, I'm afraid of commitment. I don't think I have time to commit. You know, I've gone through hell and back. I just can't do it. I... For a person such as myself, I find that very attractive rather than a person just disappearing on someone. And when I say that is because a lot of times they just reappear and they think that they can continue that um, persona of a characteristic with you. And this can go from family, personal, interpersonal, business, trying to have, I don't know, any type of relationship with someone. And then it's like, if you don't get a respond by me or by anyone else when you're la like, you can't come out and say, then I, I'm not going to work with that. Because it's like, why are you coming to me every few months? Because I, I'm a strong-willed woman. Like, listen, I can disappear on people too, but we're getting older. We're not getting any younger. And if I'm expecting to see you or to talk to you again, I'm not going to give you no reason. I'm going to tell you, unless I don't want to see you ever again. That's different. If I have an intention of never wanting to talk to you ever again, or see you ever again, I will disappear on you myself. But if I've got intention, now I'm not saying everybody is going to be the same. I don't expect you to be like me. But 
if you're not being accountable as to why you're not communicating or you're acting a certain way and you expect me to act the same way or how we left things off. And then when I tell you in a strong voice something of how I feel and then you tell me I'm an asshole or you tell me this is this. Based off the videos or things I've told you in the past, I can see through most people. Like instantly, I can hear it in your voice. I could see it through your face. I could see it in your expressions. And a lot of times you don't have to talk. It will come right out of you. But I think people think that they can deceive, you know, by covering up. And it's like, honey, you only end up hurting yourself in the long run when you do that. Because I've gone through those stages in life too. Right before, how long are you going to cover? This is not a business deal. We're not trying to make transactions here of who's going to wear the poker face longer. If you want to play a game, if we're all getting paid here, maybe, you know, by the hour, who, per whoever beats who beats who with the poker face and we get paid more. That's a different thing. But this is about personal relationships, you know? And then it's like, well, where is she? Where is he? But you want to play games. So, and then don't get me started with the whole, well, you know, Don Juan we used to be my friend, but you know, his character is this, 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 and you go and gossip to someone else. And then you expect that person to enter Don Juan to be in your life again when you just went and talked shit, you know, come on, man, that, that these... Mm. There's this cycle of people who are just so, and it's like, there comes a point in your life, it's like, move on, move on, you know, because people can see, people can see, and if you don't want people to see through you, maybe you should just be around people who are blind, legit, that can't, they, you know, if that's where you're at and you want to remain like that, where you don't want, you want to remain in denial about who, how you are, who you are, what type of people you're around with, you stick to that. But don't ever expect you to be around, for example, a psychologist, someone who has gone through so much trauma that they can see through people, through people who do investigative work. And you thinking you can kind of fool that person in remaining friends with them when they can see through you and they tell you, hey, honey, like, you know what? I'm just not down for it. And then try to figure some other way on how to get to them. Like, I understand there's power play and some people get so high off receiving some form of attention and power through people of a high position in terms of maybe, okay, for example, if I'm Don Juan, maybe... And I see Don Juan is, excuse me, I got a phone call.